What's up everybody? So usually we be doing music reviews, music reactions on this channel. But today I'm gonna hit you up with a story time because these past few days have been really fucking messy. So we're gonna jump right into the goddamn story. So I'm up at LA Fitness. I'm up in the gym just working on my fitness like Fergie. And um, bitch, when I stepped out of, out of that gym, it was raining, it was really humid, it was really foggy outside. So I was like, okay, not a problem. Let's just get in my car and get home, girl, because it's really disgusting out here. So I step in my car, and my front window is obviously foggy as hell, humid, like humid all over the place. Like I, I can't see out of it, so I just put on that cute little defogger. Now my car has this thing where it's like the front window is never clean. It's never clear. I can never see out of it. Whenever someone's in the car with me and it's a little, just a little bit humid outside, girl, like 10% humidity, you're not getting anywhere. You can't see shit. So we'll be putting up the heat to like four, all the way, up, like all the way up, bitch. Like, it's like the, a volcano up in there. And it'll be like even summertime. Like, so now we're, we're sweating, we're hot as hell. So the point is, we can never see outside of this goddamn window. So whatever, I put it up, and it starts to defog. Okay, fine, great. So I get to the red light, pulling out of the gym, and I put my little right signal on. Girl. And tell me why the second I turn right, the second I turn right, on this busy ass road with like people going 50 miles per hour. Like, it's one of those roads, it's a main road. Like, you cannot. You can't stop, you can't slow down, you can't pull to the right or to the left. Like, there's nowhere for you to go. There's nowhere for you to go. So, all of a sudden, <laughs> my fucking front window all of a sudden decides to fog up to, like, no, to no end, girl. I could not see. I was like, what's going on? So, I was looking for, like, you know, that little spot where you're kind of seeing you, like, you got your wheel and you're like, okay, bitch, okay, I can kind of see through this little, this little peephole. That's what I was trying to give. There was no people. There was nothing. There was absolutely no type of vision. No vision of love like Mariah. There was nothing, bitch. There was a vision of crashing because I rolled down my window, bitch. I rolled down my window because I was like, okay, when you roll down the window, it's supposed to defog the goddamn area, I feel like. Is that not the thing? The second I rolled down my window, got even worse. Like, literally, I first of all, I couldn't even see to begin with. And then it became, like, how can I explain? Like, actual... Looked like someone flung some goddamn mud up on my window and like I was just driving through like nothing. So rolled down my window. Now I cannot see at all. I'm sticking my head out the fucking window too and I'm feeling my car is like swerving. Like I know that I'm not aligned with where I'm supposed to be aligned. I know it. But I also cannot see. I cannot see straight. When I look to my right, I, I'm not looking to my right because I'm scared as hell. I don't know what the fuck's going on. And I feel myself veering to the left. Girl, and keep, on, keep in mind, there are a million witnesses, Katy Perry. All these witnesses... <laughs> to the left of the road, because they're stopped at a red light over there. Girl, let's just say, when I stuck my head out that window trying to really see what was going on, bitch, tell me why all of a sudden I was like, do, 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 do. listen to Do You Want to Come Over, Brittany. I was like, do you want to come over? Uh, bitch, I crashed right into this goddamn U-turn sign. Yeah, I sure did. I sure fucking did. That sign was right in my way. And... Oh my god, I was so, like, I didn't even know what to do. Like, bitch, I knew, and I just knew. I knew I was gonna hit something. I just knew I was gonna die before I even hit that sign because I can't not fucking see, and I can't slow down, and I can't turn left, and I can't turn right, I can't pull over, I can't do shit. So I just knew I was gonna die. I was gonna hit somebody, I was gonna hit somebody's car, I was going to rear off the road off into n no existence. Like, something was gonna happen. And I sure hit that fucking U-turn sign, girl. And that sign is, like, cemented into the ground, bitch, and I knocked it over. Yeah, I sure did. I knocked it over. Like, that sign is no longer there. It's on the floor. So no one knows that they can make a U-turn anymore. Now, <coughs> after I hit it and I and my window was down, so I, people probably saw my facial reaction, too. Like, they got a whole performance out of this shit. Like, what the fuck? Like, I was so embarrassed. Like, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? <sighs> so I drive away. Drive away from the, the you know, scene of the crime. Because what was, I, what was I gonna do? Stop and like, play with the sign? Like, I don't have time. And I was just so shook, like, what the fuck am I supposed to do? So I just started driving home, I was like, okay, I'm driving, I can see out the window. Okay, I can't see out the window, really, because it started to defog, finally, but what I mean is, there was no cracks. Like, no cracks in the window, I'm driving fine, I'm, you know, should, everything should be fine. I know I hit that fucking sign at like, 40 miles per hour at least, and it made a huge ass bang, and I knocked the sign over, but, I thought that I would be okay. So I get home, bitch, I get into the driveway, and I'm like, all right, let me assess the damages, Dandy Kane. So I open the door, 
but I did not open the door because the door is fucking broken. That door hinge was not opening. I was like, click, click, trying to get the fuck out. And bitch, it would open, like, it opened like an inch. And I was like, fuck, like, are you kidding me? I could deal with like, I don't know, a little scratch on the front of the car. That's what I was expecting, like some scratches on the front, maybe something, but when that door didn't open, I'm like, fuck, now you're ruining my productivity. I cannot get into my car, but like now I'm fucked. So I have to crawl over to the passenger seat and get out the fucking car and go assess the damages yet again. And <clears throat> I see my left headlight is hanging down, girl. It's clearly broken. I mean, it's broken. The whole left side of the car, the front left side, like the left headlight, the whatever's underneath it is like hanging off. And there's some scratches. I mean, you know, kind of glass shattered all over the place. <sighs> so, you know, that car is truly in the shop, girl. And that was my first accident ever. Like, I've never hit somebody. I've never gotten hit. I've never, nothing like that. Like, I'm a good driver. So, what the fuck? I blame this car. I blame this foggy-ass window. And I blame that sign for being in my fucking way. Like, are you kidding me? Who puts a U-turn sign in the middle of the road like that? And I knew it was there, by the way, and I knew I was going to hit it. Like, when I felt myself veering left, I just knew that sign was going to get hit. But I couldn't move because I couldn't see. I was like, I can't drive a little to the right because what if I hit the car that's in the right lane? Because I don't know how far off left or right I am because I cannot see. Like, what the fuck? So pretty much, that's that story, girl. That's a mess. So pray for me. Hope, hope that my insurance, you know... I think that I have to pay like 500 and then they're gonna pay the rest. I hope that's the case. 500 is not too bad. But anything more, gotta go. Gotta go, girl. Like, I don't have time. Um, am I supposed to start a GoFundMe? Like, what the fuck is supposed to happen? Um, just kidding, I got money, bitch. Okay, we getting money over here. Now, next topic. The next night, we go out to the bars. Girl, we went out to the bars and these are straight bars, just making sure, because I know that, you know, most of the people that are watching me are gay, obviously, but, um, we went to the straight bars in Petrog, we love that town, girl, that's where I'm from, eh, eh, we fucking love it, okay, so, <coughs> we go to the bars, and we were having a good time, I got myself a martini, a cucumber martini, loved it, also got myself a margarita, which, okay, first I had, first I had a margarita, margarita, loved it, always love it i never had a martini before so i go in and i'm like got this little picture on my phone that has like this beautiful like green drink so i was like excuse me bartender what the fuck is this girl and she was like bitch that's a cucumber martini and i was like okay make it for me i did not know martinis were 100 percent like vodka i thought this was like mixed i thought martinis were like a pussy drink like i thought this was a bitch drink because when people say martini like i don't know just teeny like and it's always pretty so like i just assumed it was like a fun fruity drink Girl, that thing will get you good. <laughs> that thing will get you good. That is 100% alcohol, literally vodka infused up your ass. Like, damn, that got me good. And I loved the taste of it. It was really great. Anyway, so I had to pee. And I was like, fuck, I hate peeing. I hate peeing in, like, public, busy places. Why? Because I know I'm not going to get a stall. So let me explain. First, let me explain that. So I go into the fucking bathroom, and there's only one urinal and one stall. Keep in mind, this is a busy-ass bar. There's, like, 200 people here. Like, it's so packed, and it's like, what the hell? We need more. So I get online, and I'm waiting for the stall because I'm not going to pee in the urinal because I don't like people watching me. I'm sorry. I cannot. I literally cannot pee. Like, I'll whip it out, but there's no pee that's going to come out because I, I feel people watching me, and I just can't. And I know that... And I don't even mean, like, looking at my dick. I mean, because they're behind me. It's just the fact that there are eyes on me, and I'm trying to pee. Like, that's uncomfortable to me. I cannot do that. So, I try to get into the stall. So, now I'm waiting for the stall, and of course, people, you know, the line's going, and they're like, okay, it's your turn. I'm like, no, you can go. Like, I'm just gonna use the stall, girl. And because I didn't want people to think I was shitting, because, you know what? I didn't have to shit. Like, I had to pee. And I don't want people thinking I'm shitting, either. You know what I mean? Like, I just don't want people thinking nothing, okay? Like, what the hell? Does anyone feel that way, by the way? Like, one, you know, not peeing in front of people, because I feel like that's weird. And two, not wanting people to think that you're shitting. Like, I don't know. Like, I'm not. Whatever. So, you know, the guy's like, yo, bro, come on. You know, your turn. I was like, no, bitch. Like, you can go. And then they were like, okay, fine. And then, so, 
to make it seem like I didn't want to shit, I was like, girl, I'm gonna, I have to vomit, girl, like, I've been drinking so much, and they're like, yeah, yeah, get it, like, you had a wild night, I was like, mm-hmm, I sure did, bitch, I sure did, even though I didn't have to vomit at all, girl, but, um, okay, so, still waiting, and here comes this bitch in a fucking trench coat, and his gr- gross-ass beard, like, clearly you haven't cleaned it, you're just a mess, okay, so he walks in, now he's waiting for the urinal, too, and I'm still waiting for the stall, and he's like, uh, your turn, and I was like, no, it's your turn, he's like, no, it's your turn, like, come on, don't, you know, don't be nice, whatever, I was like, no, I'm gonna use the stall, bitch, and he's like, oh, you're gonna use the stall, huh, I was like, yeah, like, what the fuck is the problem, and he got, like, this crazy look in his eyes, like, being really weird about it, and I was like, okay, girl, like, whatever, and then he, like, turned around and started talking to some other person, so I was like, okay, thank God, like, maybe he'll stop thinking whatever the fuck he was thinking I don't know what was going on in in his train of thought like obviously he clicked like the exorcist something something went off in his eyes and I was like okay so he went back to his conversation I was like okay thank god and then he turns around and I was like fuck like he remembered that I'm here and I'm waiting for the stall so he's like oh yo bro like whatever he like walks next to me and he like puts his hand into his trench coat First of all, why are you wearing a trench coat, girl? Like, I don't have time. What the fuck is this? Like, is this 1990s? Like, this is so weird. <sighs> Takes out, like, this little vial. And I was like, what the fuck is going on? Like, what is good for real? And he's, like, just, like, pointing it at me. But keep in mind, he has his back to everybody else. So it's, like, his back is to everybody. And I'm, like, kind of turned to him. So, like, we're facing away from everybody. So we're already being sketchy. And he's just ho- holding this vial at me. And I'm like, what the fuck is that? And I look at it, and it's, like, white shit. And at first, I was just, like... Just, like, smiling awkward, like, okay, girl, like, what the fuck are you doing, and what is that? And then it finally clicked, I was like, oh my god, this bitch, this is cocaine. Like, this is coke. Keep, like, I don't, I've never had to deal with that, like, no one's had ever, okay. I've seen coke, obviously, I'm not fucking retarded. Or, like, I party a lot, like, I go to clubs, I go to parties, like, house parties, and I've seen it, I've seen people doing it. But no one has ever just, like, went up to me and showed it to me in, like, a vial. So, like, I'd, especially in Patrog, where it's, like, it's, like, classy bars, like, we're supposed to be, like mature like the security you know what I mean so like in my head I just wasn't expecting it so when I'm seeing it I'm thinking this like I wasn't thinking coke you know what I mean so he's just like pointing it at me I'm like what the fuck do you want me to do with this bitch do I look like a cokehead to you do I look like a goddamn cokehead to you like what the fuck and he's like yeah like I know you want this I was like no and also was he I don't know if he was offering it to me or trying to sell it to me I'm assuming sell it, because why the fuck would anyone just give free coke away? Like, that's pretty expensive, I would assume. Or whatever. I have no... I mean, honestly, I don't know, girl. Like, do I look like a druggie? So, (laughs) absolutely not. So, whatever, I was, like, just smiling at him. He's like, I know you want... You smiling, bro. You smiling, shit. I was like, yeah, I'm smiling because it's awkward as hell. Can you go pee? Like, what the fuck's going on? And he finally caught the hint, and then he, like, put the vial back away. And then he went to pee. So, I got rid of him. Thank God. Thank... Thank Jesus. So, I mean, what the f- And then I was just shook the whole rest of the night because he was just walking around the bar, like, in his stupid trench coat. And I was like, girl, don't look at me again because I don't know what the fuck you think this is. It's just awkward. And he was like, I forgot what happened, but I don't know why he even, like, what was the conversation leading to. But he was like, I was like, no, I don't want to do anything with you. He was like, no, bro, I don't want to do anything with you. Like, I'm not trying to do shit with you. I was like, I don't know what you're trying to say. Like, what's going on? Like, what is wrong with people? I'm not trying to do shit with you. And you're not trying to do shit with me. I don't know what the fuck you even meant. Like, I was talking about coke. I don't know if he was trying to talk about, like, sex or something. But he's like, like, seemed offended. Like, no, I didn't try to do shit. I was like, okay, go pee. Like, what is wrong with you? Put your coke away. All right, get your bile out. Go dump it down the goddamn bed. You know, like, what's going on? What is wrong, people? Like, what the fuck? In the middle of the bathroom, girl? I don't have to have a Coke. Like, what the hell? And my question is, where did that come from? Like, why did you think that me going to the store meant I was going to snort cocaine? Like, when did that correlate? Like, obviously, I w- your first thought should have been that I was shitting. Like, I need a shit, girl. Like, that's what you should have thought. Or vomit, which is what I was trying to tell everybody. Or I just want to pee in the goddamn stall. Like, what the fuck? He was, like, what does stall correlate to doing snorting cocaine what if i was a cop girl what if i just took out a badge and i was like ooh, ooh. i was like thanks for the coke girl and now come with me because i'm gonna arrest your ass like what the fuck what were you thinking really it was just so weird like i can't even deal with it because pat like that's those are my safe spaces girl like it, it's not ratchet well i mean it is ratchet but like it never gets ratchet to the point where people are doing coke ever like it's not like a college bar where you would expect something like that and i would just be like no thank you 
it was just like not, I just wasn't expecting it in this environment and so therefore that's why I was so shook I feel like and I just hate going to the bathroom in public during bar hours like and now I really don't want to go ever again girl because I refuse to be offered drugs I just can't and it wasn't even like pot if it was pot I'd be like no thanks but like coke the fuck Are you out of your mind Alright, anyway, so let me know how you guys felt about these goddamn stories. Have you guys ever gotten a car crash, gotten offered drugs, cocaine, like hard drugs? Like, what the fuck? Let me know your stories. Let me know if you can relate. Also, let me know, do you want more story times? Like, this is my first time doing it, so I don't know if anyone's even going to watch or if anyone cares. But if you want some more story times, let me know. And we will also always be doing album reviews and reactions, so also let me know about those. So, thanks for watching.